Listen, it's been a day. I just wanna do like a chill video. I wanna sit down and show you guys what I picked up on Black Friday. I did do a video about all the Black Friday sales right before Black Friday, and I kind of told you what I was planning on picking up. I did pick up some of the things I mentioned. There were other things I didn't pick up, and there were things I picked up that I didn't even say I was gonna pick up. My name is Rachel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. Let's go over and do a little Black Friday haul and show you what I got. I want you to let me know as well down in the comments what you picked up on Black Friday. I would really love, love, love to know what deals you snagged, what things you picked up. Uh, every brand on the face of the earth was having a sale for Black Friday. I got some good deals and I picked up some stuff that I'm extremely excited about. So let's talk about what I said I was gonna pick up and I'm gonna let you know if I did <laughs> and like kind of go from there. So. I did plan on picking up the ColourPop mystery box, which I did pick up. I already filmed a video on that. I will link it down below if you missed it, but spoiler alert, it was my last one I'm gonna do for a while. I've done three or four now. I'm getting repeat products, which, you know, happens. I think ColourPop is putting in products that they're trying to get rid of basically. So, you know, I'm, I'm expected to get multiples and so it was okay. Go ahead and check that video out if you haven't seen it yet, but that is something that I picked up during Black Friday. The next thing that I was planning on picking up was from Odin's Eye. I wanted to get the Saga of Freya palette, which is that booklet that has two palettes kind of in between in a book form. And I was also gonna pick up maybe a couple of the blushes and highlights. I do have a couple of them, but I wanted to pick up some more. And their Black Friday sale happened on Thanksgiving at like 6 p.m. And I had set an alarm on my phone, but I had put my phone aside because it was Thanksgiving. I was with my family. I was in the moment. And so I missed the initial start of the Black Friday sale. I signed on, I think at like 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, Saga Freya palette was sold out and many of the blushes and highlighters are sold out. And I was like, I can pick them up another time. Whenever their next collection launches, I'm probably gonna buy it and I'll throw this in my cart. So I didn't end up picking those up. The next thing that I mentioned that I was going to do was place a order on Viseart's website and I did. And I actually received these palettes very, very quickly. There are some things that I ordered I still haven't even gotten that haven't even shipped yet. So we'll get to that in a second. But I did pick up two palettes from Viseart. So this one is the Petite Fours Violetta. I have already used this several times. I actually created a short here if you wanna check it out, but it looks like this. Absolutely stunning, like smoky purple quad. The quality of these shadows is really, really nice. There's one true matte, a matte with shimmer, a metallic, and then like a very sparkly, like PC, almost toppery shade. I love this shade. It's purple with blue reflect in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I created a couple of really beautiful looks with this. Now, am I gonna get a huge variety with the looks that I create with this? No, it's a quad for goodness sake. But I really love the tiny little itty bitty packaging. The quality of the shadows was really nice. And then I picked up the Petite's Mattes Neutral. I took the box off because it broke. Normally I would be crazy and save the box because I do that. And it's an entire palette of all matte neutral shades. And they really go cool toned, warm toned. There's a black, there's like a creamy, almost white color and everything in between. I have used this only once since I got it and I really like it. The shades are not super pigmented. They are more, I would say definitely user friendly, very buildable, but they blend very easily. And I'm so excited to have a tiny little palette of neutral mattes that I can travel with and have kind of every matte neutral shade I could want. So really excited to have this. Glad I placed a order on Viseart's website. They were having a really good sale. Like this quad just launched a week before Black Friday or a couple weeks before Black Friday and it was on sale. So I, I had to take advantage. Another thing that I picked up and I didn't mention it in my video because it was a launch that happened after I made that video. Ace Beauté launched two new eyeshadow palettes on Cyber Monday. And I picked up one of them. This one is the Aura palette, which is like the purple, red, green palette, like the grungy olive greens, yes. And then they had another one, I'll pop it up on the screen. I just wasn't interested in it. It was very blue, very bright greens. Not my favorite color story. It's just not what I'm drawn to, but this one I thought was so beautiful. I've used this quite a few times now. And so I have pretty much my full thoughts on it. 
I'll give it to you in a nutshell. It's beautiful. I love the versatility in this palette. This bottom row is really truly neutral. This shade Sunburst looks olive green in the pan, but it actually is very, very gold on the eyes. So it is very neutral. It's like a greenish gold, but I absolutely love it. And then the top row is very purple. And the middle row is like red, purple kind of combo. The mattes are extremely pigmented, but they are very blendable and the shimmers are so pretty. This shimmer called Halo is a cool tone purple with a gold reflect throughout it. It is so, so gorgeous. I did also create a YouTube short uh, doing a look with this palette. So check that out if you want to see it. And by the way, as I'm going through these palettes, let me know if you want to see any looks. Usually I'm going to do looks more in the short form, short form content form, <laughs> short form. Let me know if you want to see any looks with any of these palettes, but fully have enjoyed this palette. Uh, I was expecting to love it, but it, it's living up to my expectation. Another one that I did not pick up that I was planning to pick up, and this was one that I was guaranteeing myself to get, was the Nomad uh, America's Parks palette. They had like several deals leading up to Black Friday, leading up to Cyber Monday, and then continuing on. And I was waiting until Cyber Monday because they were gonna have 30% off the whole website. And I only wanted to buy that one palette. So all the other deals previously just didn't really fit with what I was trying to get. So I wanted to wait till the Cyber Monday and it was sold out and it's still sold out. I'll pick it up at some point for sure. Uh, I just, I waited too long. I waited too long. And then I placed a couple of orders on Ulta's website. They were having really good deals as well. I, I couldn't say, couldn't say no. That's what the title of this video should be. I couldn't say no. I restocked up on the Ardell Wispies. I love these for like very natural, lightweight days. They're really nice lashes. They don't last very long. Like I feel like it can only wear these once or twice and then I have to toss them, but they're very affordable. They're really pretty. So I did want to restock on this. And then another thing that I bought, and I, I think I did talk about this at some point, I bought a mini and I'm glad I did because I don't really like this. So this is the Kopari Ultra Restore Body Butter. I did hear Jamie Page Beauty talking about this. And so I was intrigued. I love the Josie Marin Argan Oil Body Butter. It's like my favorite, but it's very expensive. And when I was placing this order, the Josie Marin one wasn't on sale, but stick around because maybe it went on sale and I bought it. So this one is definitely very, very thick of a cream. I don't love the smell. It smells kind of like coconut, but almost like a fake coconut with a Play-Doh undertone. It kind of reminds me of old school sunscreen from when I was a kid where you would put it on your skin and you would have to sit there and rub it for like, you know, a good 90 seconds before it disappeared into your skin. That's kind of how I feel about this. It doesn't really melt into the skin very quickly. You really have to work it, work it, work it. Once it is on the skin, it's pretty undetectable. So I don't feel like this is great if you have very dry skin. The Josie Marin one is way better, but this is good if you're looking for more like, not a super moisturized look, which this is supposed to be ultra restore body butter. I'm gonna use it up, but I'm not gonna repurchase it. I also restocked on my favorite sunscreen. This is the Bliss Block Star Invisible Daily Sunscreen. A great sunscreen, especially if you have oily skin. It is slightly tinted, but once you work it into the skin, at least on my skin tone, the tint disappears. It gives almost like a makeup primer effect where it's smoothing, it's not greasy, it's not overly moisturizing. It's a really, really beautiful sunscreen. I wish they made a jumbo because I go through these like nuts, but this was on sale, so I picked it up. And then I am one of maybe the only people left on earth that loves the Beauty Blender. Like I, I truly still repurchase the Beauty Blender, but I never purchase it full price. So they were putting one of their Beauty Blender styles on sale. This is the color changing one. I don't really care that it's color changing. I just love the texture, the size. And the thing I love the most is I have like very deep set under eyes. And I feel like the point of the Beauty Blender really gets into my under eye perfectly. 
A lot of other sponges are just way too big and I end up like blending my concealer almost up into my eye. It's just the perfect density. It's not so spongy soft that like it's soaking wet even when you squeeze it out, but it's obviously not hard and like you're pounding a rock against your face. Anyway, I don't have to, I got another beauty blender is what I'm trying to say. And then I did a second order from Ulta and I picked up a pair of House of Lashes Natalia lights. I had never seen these lashes before. I really like House of Lashes lashes. They're not my favorite. Honestly, the Unearthly Cosmetics lashes are now my favorite. I am wearing one of their styles on my eyes. By the way, I'm gonna link everything that I'm wearing on my face today down in the description box. But these just look like really, really beautiful, just pretty, I don't know, just really, really pretty light lashes. I don't know, I'm really excited to try them out. And House of Lashes lashes, you can wear them quite a few times. They hold up pretty well. And then they put the Josie Marin body butter on sale, so I bought it. This body butter, I'm sorry, it is so worth the hype. It is the best body lotion I've ever used in my life. I get the one that's unscented. I personally just prefer that. It sinks into the skin like literal butter. It makes your skin just look like it's glowing, like not shiny, not glittery, like there's no glitter particles, but it just makes your skin look like you've just had an IV of water put into you and you're just so hydrated, full of life. You just look so good. And I did tell the story before, one time when I used this, or like one of the first times I used this, I put it on my body I wore in the morning after I took a shower, I went to work, I did my thing, blah, 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 blah. I came home at the end of the night and I took another shower. I could literally feel the shower taking the body butter off. Like I could feel it coming off my skin. It had lasted all day long, but while it was on me, I couldn't feel it. I didn't even notice it till I was taking a shower and it was coming off of me and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So yes, I got another one of these. I love it. I also restocked on a mascara that I had a sample size of that I used up. I used it to death. I think it's my new favorite mascara. And so the big size or the big size, the regular size was on sale. So this is the Tartlet Tubing Mascara from Tarte. I love this mascara. It's so good. It makes my lashes look voluminous. It holds my curl. And because it's a tubing mascara, it comes off really easily with just water. It is very vol voluminous though. Like if you're looking for a wispy separated lash, this is probably not the one for you. But if you're looking for a voluminous lash, this is a really good one. I have terrible lashes. And this really gives me something. So those were my Ulta orders. The next thing that I mentioned that I wanted to pick up was a couple of brushes from BK Beauty. And they saw my video and they emailed me and asked me if they could send their whole brush set over. <gasps> so I got their whole brush set. Thankful is an understatement. So this is their like original brush set, their core line. I only have some of the face brushes here, but I got all the eye brushes and the face brushes. These brushes are so freaking soft. When I first got them and I took them out, my fiance was sitting next to me and I was like, can you feel this? And he was like, putting it against his face going like this. He's like, wow. So incredibly soft. They have so many wonderful kind of different shapes than I've seen before. Absolutely stunning. They did give me a discount code, by the way. I will put it up on the screen and in the description box if you are interested in checking them out. Their brushes feel so luxurious and they feel so incredibly soft. I can't even begin to tell you. I'm also loving the eye brushes. They sent those over too. And I went on a trip actually, and I brought all of the eye brushes and a few of the face brushes with me. And so I've been using those nonstop and, um, I love them. And then I placed an order on Sigma's website. I told you guys I was very interested in trying out Sigma. And that was probably the most comments I got when I asked like, what are the things that I should pick up from any of these websites? So many of you suggested Sigma. I'm super interested in trying out their, especially their eyeshadow formula. And I originally wanted to get the new mod palette, but when I went to go place my order online, it was sold out. So I got my second choice, which was the Cord de Rosa. The packaging is really beautiful. I love it. And I love that you're getting an actual full size Sigma brush in here. That's really exciting. I've never tried any of Sigma's eye brushes. I have one of their face brushes, but that's it. And this palette just looks so gorgeous. I'm so excited. It's neutral, but also pinky rosy, right up my alley. Very, very excited. I have not even touched or swatched this. Let me swatch a couple. I'm, I'm curious. Although whenever 
The palettes have pan embossing. I'm really hesitant. I'm really hesitant to swatch, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I wanna get this one. Bell of the Ball looks really pretty. Ooh, ooh, like almost like a toppery shade. That's gorgeous. Let's do Sunspray. Ooh, very foiled. Let me do a matte just for fun. Uh, Shakespeare, this like, ooh, very velvety. Wow. Ooh, ooh gorgeous. Oh, that looks promising. Those metallics look gorgeous. And that matte swatched beautifully. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. So many of you really seem to love Sigma's formula. And then I also picked up one of their face duos. I was interested in picking up like a blush and a highlighter or maybe a bronzer, but the single blushes and bronzers and highlighters were a little pricey, if I'm gonna be honest with you. So they came out with this like duo and a brush set. So I thought that was a little more just price range wise better for me. So this was part of their holiday collection. It's called the Listen and Glow Cheek Duo. It has a highlighter and a blush. And this blush looks like the Natasha Denona My Dream Cheek Trio blush that I love. It looks very, very similar in tone, but this is obviously a powder blush. And then this highlighter looks super pretty. I wanna swatch these. I haven't even touched them yet. Ooh, pretty frosty glow. It might be a little deep for me right now. Ooh, and the blush is super duper silky. That's really beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited to try that. And then it came with this like travel size brush, which would be really good for highlight. Actually, I would probably use it to set my under eyes. It's like a nice pointed shape. So very excited to try these out from Sigma. I have heard you guys talk so highly of the brand and I've always wanted to try them out. And then I placed an order on Sugar Drizzle's website. Sugar Drizzle is an indie brand. I have heard really good things about them. They're really known for like their multi-chrome shades. They have all shimmer palettes. They've now started to release shimmer and matte palettes. So I did pick up three things from Sugar Drizzle. I picked up their two new releases. The Hypernova palette was an actual like Black Friday release date special. They were doing a discounted price on it for Black Friday. I think I got this for $27, which is really good. And it is a very bright, fun, celestial kind of color story. It looks gorgeous, but there are some neutrals in here where I'm a neutral girl. So if I can get a neutral look out of a palette, I love that. You also got some really pretty bright tones. This does not have any multi-chromes in it, but I'm really excited to try their matte and shimmer formula. Let's swatch a couple. So I wanna get this one interstellar. This one looks really pretty. Ooh, stunning. This one looks like not a multi-chrome, but a purple with like a blue bluish reflect in it. Let's do the green called Supernova. My Supernova girl. My Supernova girl. And then let's do one of the uh, neutrals, Cosmos. I did three shimmers. I kind of wanted to do a matte. We'll do that in a second. Ooh, pretty. Very smooth. Like very smooth, not like very textured shadows, which is nice. And then I'm gonna get a couple, just a couple of the matte shades. Let's go into this lime green Mega Nova. Ooh, pretty. And I wanna do the brown, Universe. Very pretty. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Looks nice, looks very promising. I'm super excited. Uh, I don't know that I'm gonna do a dedicated video to this because it is so long ago past that this released, but I might do like a YouTube short or something featuring this palette. Let me know if you wanna see it. And then I picked up their On Top of the Mountain and Beneath the Stars highlighter palette. I have heard so many people talk about this palette and I just had to grab it. The packaging is really beautiful. The font is raised and it's like holographic. I don't know that you're gonna be able to tell with this bright light. These are all multi-chrome highlighters, so they shift. Very excited. I wanna, I wanna swatch some of these right now. So I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna take uh, randomly, Moonlit Sky. Ooh, they're very soft, almost creamy. Star Nights, which looks like it shifts to a purple. Ooh, gorgeous. And then Twinkling Down, which looks like a blue. Ooh, it's like blue to purple. Ooh, very pretty. Very beautiful. <sighs> Gorgeous. I'm getting more into colorful highlight. I really wasn't that girl, but I'm kind of getting more into it. 
I was kind of deciding between this one from Sugar Drizzle or the Blend Bunny one or the Bella Beauté Bar one, but I decided to pick up the Sugar Drizzle one because I was interested in trying some of their eyeshadows. So I thought while I was there, I would just pick up the highlighter palette too. And then the last thing from Sugar Drizzle I picked up was the Trick Roar Treat. I was going to pick up one of their all shimmer palettes. <sighs> I'm just not an all shimmer palette type of girl. I just prefer when palettes have mattes and shimmers in it. I just do. This one was their Halloween release, which I thought was super cute. Like the T-Rex a la E.T. riding his bike across the moon. <laughs> and it's just this little six pan palette, three mattes, three multi-chromes. Uh, I'm gonna swatch them, the multi-chromes. Dynamite, which is like, actually, is this a multi-chrome? It's like a green, dark green color. Reptar Candy, ooh, whoa, wow. That color is absolutely beautiful. And then Trick Roar Treat. Wow, this like bright green. I don't know, there's a lot of colors. Wow. Yeah, those are stunning. They kind of remind me of the Heather Austin palette from Adept Cosmetics, that feeling like very creamy, very foiled multi-chromes. And this one is more of just like a shimmer. I don't feel like it's the same as the other two. I could be wrong. Absolutely stunning. Very excited to try it. And then I placed a couple more orders for a couple more palettes, but they haven't even shipped yet. So I love that for me. I did pick up the new, two new palettes from Lethal Cosmetics, the Metamorphosis, and the, mm, I can't remember the name, I'll pop them up on the screen so you can see. They just looked absolutely gorgeous. And I tried Teresa Is Dead's collab with them. They're her recent one, Teresa Is Lethal. And I was very impressed with that palette. It's one of my favorite palettes I tried this year, honestly. I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to pick up whatever their next release was going to be that was in a palette form, I wanted to pick it up. So I picked up both the palettes. I couldn't decide between the two, I just couldn't. And I picked up one of their small mystery bags but it hasn't even shipped yet. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with that, but when it arrives, I will show it to you guys. And then I also picked up the Glam Light Strawberry Shortcake collection, the whole collection. Listen, it was on super sale. The PR, I don't know if I got the PR box or the whole collection. I don't know, I'm really excited. I am gonna do a video when it arrives. I know probably nobody's gonna care about it by the time I get it three months from now. But I've only ever tried one palette from Glam Light. I got the Dirty Martini palette when they did the cocktail collection. And I liked it, it was nice. It wasn't like my favorite palette I've ever tried if I'm gonna be honest with you, but it's been a long time since I've tried their, uh, their eyeshadow formula. So I'm very excited to get the palette. Also the blush looks so cute. The sponge I'm not using. I'm not using, it looks so adorable. So I'm just kind of waiting on that to even just ship. And then I picked up a couple more things that actually I have used in a video I filmed a couple days ago or yesterday. I don't know if you are going to have seen the video by the time this video goes up or what, what order. Anyway, let me just tell you what they are. So I got the new Rare Beauty Highlighter. I got mine in the shade Exhilarate, which is the second to lightest shade. And it actually is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. Um, it's blinding, but it's, really smooth it's not chunky and i i think they're called like the silky touch and i would definitely agree it looks like a baked formula but it's it's very silky it's a very unique feeling i don't think i've ever seen a highlighter quite like this before and the packaging is so adorable it looks like play makeup from the 90s but in a good luxurious way but i did use this in a get ready with me that i filmed yesterday uh if if it's up before this, I'll link it down below. And I also used this. This is the new liquid blush from Alamar Cosmetics. They are an indie brand and I love, love the brand. I have almost everything they've ever released. When they said they were releasing liquid blushes, I wanted one so bad. So this one is like the light peachy shade. This is probably the lightest one that they offer. I did also use it in that get ready with me video, but it is this gorgeous like peachy melon color and it blends out extremely easily. It gives more of a hydrated look to the cheek, but it's not greasy looking or anything like that. So I think if you have dry skin or normal skin or even oily skin like me, you would like it. I will say if you have any deeper of a skin tone than me, this might not be the color for you because it was pretty subtle. This is in the shade Amour de Melocoton. 
and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. So I'm gonna continue to use this and let you know like in a speed reviews in the future, my full thoughts, but upon first impression, I really liked it. One downside is it definitely doesn't feel like there's hardly any product in here. Like it's like when you get a bag of chips and you know, a fifth of the bag is filled with chips and the rest is filled with air. That's kind of what I'm getting with this. But anyway, it's a good formula. One last thing to, to mention, I did pick up the new palette, well, new palette. It's like three collections ago by now from ColourPop, the Aurora Struck palette. And also I picked up one of the stick highlighters. It is on its way to me. It, I don't see like a estimated arrival time, but it should be getting to me soon. So I will, again, I know it's old by now, but I am gonna do a video on it. I'm so excited. It's one of the first launches from ColourPop that I was very excited about. It looks absolutely stunning. I haven't watched anyone else's video on it because I want to have my own opinions on it, but I was very tempted to watch all the videos I saw on it, but I don't like to do that if I'm gonna review a palette. I kinda just wanna get my own opinion. All right, that is everything I picked up on Black Friday slash recently. I mean, some of these things I picked up after Black Friday. Again, let me know in the comments what you picked up recently on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, a couple days ago, last week. W what have you bought recently? I really wanna know. And let me know if you wanna see anything involving the things that I showed you today. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I would love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.